Regardless of the final disposition of this brick building, it will remain a symbol of the assassination of the 35th President of the United States. The sixth floor has been dark and empty since 1963, but today Channel 8 news cameras were allowed to probe the musty interior. In recent years, only loading pallets have been stored here. The view from the corner window has changed little in seven years. Dallas oil man Colonel D. Harold Byrd, principal owner of the building, has had many offers to capitalize on the assassination, but has steadfastly refused to sell the structure until now. We ask him why he decided to sell the building. Well, uh, on the 24th of this month, that's just a few days off now, I'll be 70. And I've worked pretty hard all of my life and what little I've uh, uh, saved up I, and uh, acquired, I'd like to uh, take it a little easier from now on and spend a little more time fishing. I'm diversified in a lot of different things and uh, I'm selling uh, a lot of my, some of my real estate right now. I would like to see the, uh, it uh, put to some commercial use rather than to a monument. Uh, I don't care anything about uh, capitalizing on this tragedy because Dallas is a good place to live and lovely people and I don't like to have them associated with that tragedy is more impossible. Some would like to see it become a museum. Others would like to see it become a commercial building. And still others would like to tear it down and sell it brick by brick. Regardless of what is finally done with this building, it will always remain a symbol of the assassination. This is Art Sinclair for Channel 8 News. We also take this opportunity to remind this nation to see that no exploitation of our laws according to this historical building, will be used in the name of Lee Harvey Oswald unless it is definitely proved that he did indeed assassination, assassinate President Kennedy. I believe the building should remain. It should remain maybe for future evidence. It is a historical building. And I was mighty glad to read that Mr. Newton, may you, that's the way he pronounced his name, has decided that it rem will remain that way. In human nature, such as it is, he may change his mind. He may sell it so it will be exploited. He himself may decide to exploit it. And this would be a grave injustice to our nation as a whole.